all right so for today we are going to build a a basic queue well we already have a build so i'm just going to show you what i did and how you can build one as well so we have our queue here so the first thing we want to do is the queue is basically uh an array all right and what we're doing is we write into the file we write into a file so we create an, ar an array so you have an array here and we write into this file so the file is the queue all right so this is basically what we're doing so we have function write to queue so the input is an array and what we do is we create in this php file here so we have the php open here and then we say return open brackets close and within we loop in the input which is an array and we put it in our values there and then we create a new file so we have f open q underscore one dot php and then we write to that file and then we close it so basically again what that does is allows us to write an actual array to a php file so we always have it in so we don't need to keep it in memory we have it written to the file all right so that's the first step so the next step what we do and after we write it to the file we we need to get the queue all right so basically all we do is just call include and then we get our queue this will give us the base queue will now have the array we have here inside this variable base queue and what we're doing here we're also checking to see if the length is less than or equal to zero and if that's the case then we see in base queue is empty and return in base queue all right so we get the queue so first we write to the file we write the queue to the file and then we get the queue to add to the queue what we do is we get the queue as we did before and then we say array push and we add in the value so the add to the queue takes an argument and that's the value that we want to add and then we add them this is just to see the results but you can actually remove this and then you write to the queue again so after you array push which puts the value um pushes the value into the array all right and then we write to the file so we this will be the new array and this will be on file and then we return in the queue the current queue return the current results all right all right so we get the last item all right so this is first and um i think it's first and last out all right so this behavior is actually last and first out so what i'm gonna do before i actually after i show you it run we're gonna change it so that it behaves first and first out so we can actually change depending on how we want it to operate anyway array path takes the last element and returns it to you all right so the last element in will be the first element out so that's last and first out all right but if you want it to work like this first and first out we'll do that as well all right and then we have another function here for empty queue and then we write we just write into empty queue and then we have a function to check if the queue is empty all right again so our queue is here and the first thing you want to do is add something to our queue so let's add a hello world so you say hello world and then we run this file what it should do is show the queue so now we should have something in hello world all right so let's add something else to the queue let's spell hello world correctly now hello world one and we run this file and then the queue should now be hello world and hello world and right, keep spelling hello world wrong so let's try it again hello world two and then we run this file and now we look at our queue and we see we have three values in queue and if you wanted to uh take out a value all you would do so let's create a file to do that so we want to remove value from queue from queue ue i think all right so we just want to include include the queue and we want to get the last we want to get the last value all right so that function is get last item so uh, last item last item is equal to get last item and we just wanna if it's not empty if it's empty we know that the array is uh the array is empty but the queue is empty else 
last item. All right, so let's just run that and see what we get. So last item was uh, Hello World 2. So what should happen now is Hello World 2. So that was the last in. So that's the first out. Let me run it again. And our, our queue keeps going down. Let me run it again. All right, and just now we should have nothing at all. So let's try to remove a value from the queue again. Let's see if queue is empty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna get the first item, get first item. So we're just gonna copy this and we're gonna confirm the function and then we should be good to go. Put a backspace here. All right. Oh, I'm still live. All right, so we go in. Um, I thought I paused it. All right, so we're here. This is where I did my confirmation. And um, so apparently, array shift is what we want. So I actually thought it was first and first out, but let's just try array shift and see if that would give us the same functionality. I'm just going to test it. Um, so we're going to add one to the queue. Uh, we're going to add two to the queue. Um, and then, all right, so we can check the queue now. So the first one is hello world too. So let's remove it from the queue. Oh, what we want to say is get, we want to say get first item. No, get first item, right. So we want to say get first item. All right, so let's run that. And the first item would be hello world too. So let's see if that works, hello world too. And let's look at the queue and then hello world tree is the only one that remains so if you was to add one more to it let's add a hello world five this time hello world tree should come out and not hello world five so this is actually run this for hello world tree all right hello world five remains all right so this is actually this function here is what actually gives us the face in face out so let's put a comment in face in face out function and if you wanted to do last in last in face out you can use this function so for your reference uh, php does have a, a library for dealing with queues and stacks and stuff like that so you can always check that out and see how they work that Again, my solution is just a very simple, very simple, simple, simple solution. Um, the next thing you can do is actually, you can, you can create it as a class. So if you wanted to, um, you can create a class. Uh, yeah, I think we can do that. Um, that's not what I want. Uh, class. So we could do, right? Create a class. We need maybe the same thing. Q manager. All right. So I'm not going to go through all of this. I'm just showing you so that you could understand. And you would basically copy all the functions here into the class um, you do like that we don't need a constructor it will be a basic constructor for now we don't need any properties because it's pulling everything for different well what you could do is have the source file this file name all right so that'll be the main property and that'll be private okay, you don't have to do this Alright, and we would give this some space. Yep. Alright, um, yeah, but that's basically what we do. 
and then within the file wherever you call wherever you call um so things like get q you would see this get q i think that should work maybe um this right to q i'm not sure i did that correctly i am forgetting um whatever but as you put right so you would create the file like this and then if you were to create a test version um you would include the queue manager so i'm just going to see if it kind of work manager and we're going to create a class queue and see if we can um, see what we can do. So let's uh, add the queue. Let's add the queue. Hello. Um, and for this, what we actually want to do is we're going to change the source file name. So you're going to call it Q2. That's correct, and then we see this. Include this source file name, right? And we do the same thing, man. I hope I have that correct. I thought auto complete. <laughs> I feel like I need to shift this. All right, so we have errors here. 26 all right all right so we, we kind of work it all right so we can we can now add as many as you like if you wanted to you just put one two three four all right and we can see that updated in the queue all right so yeah we good to go there we're gonna do one more thing and um then that's it. We are going to we are going to um, run this. We're going to run this and command prompt. All right. So the biggest issue. So again, the problem we have here is multiple files trying to edit the file, right? And there are ways to prevent that. Um, one of them is something called flock, which can lock files, but you could look into that for yourself. Um, but if, I mean, again, it's just a simple example. So you would have to decide how you want to do it. But for now, I'm just going to show you. So PHP, we're going to, we have something called here, write. So we're going to write information to the file, to the queue. So you're going to do that PHP, that write, that PHP. And basically all that does is write to the file. And then we're gonna call the first in, uh, last and first out, and um, that will we have here called read, I think. PHP read that PHP. And I'll just read the values as we get them. So we have hello world 14, we split it across 18. So last and first out, right? 21, 22, 23, 24. So this is what read does, and this is what write does, all right? I'm just showing you an example again. I get the feeling if I add more, more reads or more writes, we have a lot of issues. For now, we kind of look slider. And then it will just go through the rest. Um, anything remaining until it, the, uh, the queue is empty itself. When the queue becomes empty, it just says any, and it, but it keeps reading, all right, until I actually cancel it. All right, so that's it for our, our little queue project all right i'll upload the code you'll have access to it